Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to do a wind tunnel. So it's gonna be really cool. Um, first, I'll show you the basics. Start with a 2D container, and then I'll advance to the 3D container. And if I have time, I'll show you do uh, different types of wind tunnel. Okay. Uh, of course, you can do it with uh, emitters, but uh, I'm going to be using mail scripts. I might do a tutorial for uh, using uh, emitters. Okay. First of all, let's start with a 2D container. Make sure you're in the dynamics mode right here. Okay. Dynamics. And you go fluid, choose a 2D container. Okay, what well I'm going to do, move it up, hit W, move it up. Okay, I'm going to change this to, let's say, 0.5. And um, let's say I'm going to uh, triple this to 100. So what you do is you times 33.0, multiply by 3, which is close to uh, 100, and multiply this by 3. 10 times 3 would be 30 enter okay now when you start the fluid it will go from left to right okay in the x axis x axis so i'm going to uh, boundary for the x i'm going to say none because i want the fluid to keep going next um uh, keep this one and everything the same okay and then display okay what you want is uh Boundary, make sure it's a uh, boundary draws outline. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now before you do the um, the mail script, what you need to do is this. Uh, let's, you need some attribute. Let's go into uh, channel box. Make sure you go open the outliner. And make sure you the, not the transform node, but make sure you choose the shape node. Okay, so once you have the shape node selected, you can add more attribute right here by going to edit, add attribute. I'm going to type in um, wind speed and wind speed I'll keep it float mean, meaning that it can be a decimal number decimal number and then uh, zero will be let's say uh, minimum let's say if I can have a 60 you know speed let's say 60 mile per hour and the default let's say uh, start let's say 10 okay and then I need another one make sure it's still shape note is selected Go edit and attribute. This one you can call anything you want. Let's say you can call it tracers or you can call it um, smoke trail. I'm gonna call it trail. Okay. So yeah, let, let me call it tracers. Doesn't matter. And then the tracers, what you want is uh, how many smoke trail. Okay. It, that's gonna be a whole uh, number. So I'll pick integer. Start. Let's say I can have zero. It's the minimum. Maximum I can have 10 and the default let's say to start with I can have 3 Okay, so now once I'm done with that what I need to do is um Go into window animation editor and choose expression editor Okay, so next is make sure again the, the shape node is selected not the transform node shape node selected go select expression name here you can type a new name, you don't need to click on new expression, I'll call it say smoke expression and again you can name it whatever you want but um, just give it a specific name so, ok now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste some command paste it, ok Okay, if you want to make a text bigger, you hold on control uh, and you scroll the mouse forward, make it bigger. Okay, let me explain what this means. Okay, right here is the wind speed, the new attribute I just created in the uh, uh, channel box. Okay, next is the traces again right here. Okay, now since um, this one right here is the name of the, sh the fluid container. Okay, let's say if you name this something else, let's say you call it banana or whatever you want to call it. Okay or let's say wind tunnel or whatever then you have to change this name to whatever the, sh the name is okay and also if you name it the shape note make sure you keep the name shape and make sure you still keep uh, capitalize the S okay? since the wind speed can be uh, uh, any decimal number that's why it has to be a flow okay and since we deal with speed you, you give it a, a variable start with a dollar sign and then you give it velocity, call velocity let me uh, undo that okay 
What's available? Available for those people who don't know uh, programming. Available is like a container. It stores the data. For example, when you say, let's say you have 1 plus 1 equal 2, right? So the equal is a container because you're going to say like 1 plus 1 and then nothing. Okay, you have to say, yeah, 1 plus 1 equal something. So the equal is like the container. It contains something. Yes, like that. Okay, next is the tracers. These uh, will be uh, the smoke trail. Again, you don't have to call it tracers. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, smoke trails, whatever. Um, smoke lines. Okay, again, since the smoke trails are tracers, you don't want to be uh, a decimal number or fraction. Therefore, it has to be integer. Okay, again, it has to be a variable right here. Next is this part right here. Okay, this one I don't have to create because it's already built into the fluid shape like that. So whenever you select the fluid shape, you will see, for example, let's say I select the um, fluid shape and I go into channel box right now. This is attribute editor. If I go into channel box, right here you can see it's already built in. Okay, so you don't have to create it. Now the uh, the H resolution, let me show you what that is. That is the range. Think of the resolution is the range from here all the way up here. Okay from the bottom all the way to the top so yeah I don't want to type out because my hands is uh, feel numb and stiff so it's hard for me to type out I got so that's how I paste it okay again this is the name of the container dot and this is the, uh, the the properties of it okay resolution H and then since we want the um, the range to be a whole number like that so that's why you put integer like that. So you can also have as a uh, um, a flow, but best is keep it as integer. Okay. So since the this is the y axis, that's why you call y and resolution like that. So you can call um, range if you want to, but just keep the same name as resolution. It's easy to remember. Next one is the density right here. Let's say you want the smoke to be really thin. I'll show you. I'll change this later. Really thin, then uh, it'll be. Um, um, you can set it to one here. Let me uh, create it. Once I create the name, type the name, hit create, and now you should have no error message. Okay, down here it tell you if you have any error message. I'm going to type in five thousand for range, and make sure you go right here. Look at like a guy running. Click on that icon in on this time slider. Make sure it play every frame. Hit save because you don't want to be uh, 24 frames per second. Now let, let me uh, bring it here and hit play right there. And if you press 6 on your keyboard, and that's what it looks like. Okay, now you can change the color. Okay, here, let me before I change color, let me explain to you what the number means. Let me move over here. Okay, remember this number right here. Uh, three. Let's say make it ten. And once you change, you have to edit, and you can rewind. See now the density is much more. Okay. So if I go, let's say point one, and hit edit. So now the smoke has become very thin, and that's what the, the density is. Since the density, I can be, I can have as a whole number of or decimal. Again, if you want decimal number, you have to call float. And since you want to store the data, you have to use a variable. Okay, so let me change this back to three. Delete it. Hit edit. Let me stop it. Next would be uh, right here. This command, what it does is set fluid adder. Thing of set fluid adder is like um, where do you want it to begin. For example, let's say uh, in the Olympic, you have uh, people running the 100 meter, right? So to start running, you have to stand at the starting line, okay? So you don't just start anywhere. You have to start the standing line, and that's the same thing over here. Set the fluid adder, okay? Minus AT, that means it's not really minus, but um, this is a shorthand for the word attribute, okay? The attribute thing of attribute, like the properties, w the property of what? Of the fluid, and since we want to deal with velocity, right there, so it's... Anytime you want to um, use the attribute, you have to use the minus. Okay. So next is um, XI stands for index. Here's another attribute. 
Okay, what does XI stand for? Think of it in simple English, XI is where you want the 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 fluid to start. Okay, if you look at here, let me minimize it or bring it down. You see this um, axis here. Okay, so this is X, and you can if I zoom in really close, you can also see it. Let's say selected right there, where the red line is. That's the X axis. Okay. So XI is where you want the fluid to start along the X axis. Since we want to start at zero, that's why I put zero. And I'll explain to you what this means. Like right now it's hard to see because it's since this is 2D fluid, you can tell it's completely flat. So even if I change these values, you're not gonna be able to see it. I'll show you later. Okay. So let me go down to the next one. So here's the uh, the command if you want to copy it or take a snapshot picture of it, okay. And the next one, okay, this one, what it means is this. Think of this like a, an item, okay. So SI is an item. So since I want I want the item to be a whole number, that's why I use integer. And this part right here means a loop. It's a for loop. What that means is this. Let's say I start out with no, zero. Uh, zero item. Okay, that's why it's over here. If the item is zero, okay, let's start with zero. And the next one is it's over here. If the item is less than the number of traces, okay, let's say if there are no items, okay, we're gonna have three traces. Let's say if there are no traces, let's say if the trace is only one, then if this one is less, then it means zero, okay. And, and that means that if there are no traces, then add add a new one in okay keep you can add new one in in as many as many times as you want okay that's what this whole me part means okay next is um this little curly bracket what it means is right here um again the y index think of it like this the y index is the range from the bottom all the way to the top okay so Starting from all the way down here, all the way to the top. That's the y index. Okay, think of it like the range. Okay, so here y index. Okay, since we want it to be anywhere along here, that's why you want it to be a float. Okay, y resolution. Let me um, make sure the fluid shape node is selected. And so I go into the attribute editor. Scroll up. So right now, this is the X range, and this is the Y range, okay? So this is the Y resolution, which is right here, Y res, okay? Times the number of items plus 0.5. And I'll explain to you what this means, okay? Again, I want, since I want it anywhere, it has to be a flow, because I want it to be decimal number, divide by the number of traces. Okay, let me show you what this whole line means right here, okay? From here all the way to right here. Let's say I change this number to let's say point 0.1. And I hit edit. So now if I rewind it, I'll hit play. Notice that if I put point 0.1, then the trace would start all the way down here. If it's zero, then it would start all the way at the bottom. Okay. So <coughs> let me move it up. Okay. So this number here tells where do you want uh, the smoke trail to start? You want all the way at the bottom or all the way at the top? Let's say put 0.9 and edit. And now if it play, okay, pay attention that the smoke trails start all the way up at the top, okay? Again, again, that since I want it to be evenly spread out, and that's why you see right here, divided by the number of traces, okay? If they have four traces, then take Take this 0.9 and divide equally by the number of traces. Okay, and that's what this whole line means. Let me go back to um, 0.5. If you want to be in the middle, you put 